radiator, DPF. I might, as, I might as well do an update of what we had today. It's Monday, favorite day of the week. Do you think we found it? Yeah, yeah, I hope so. So the problem is we had a truck that had the gauges went on and off and we thought we found it at least a couple of times. You want to talk about what we, we did a lot. We did, we did so much stuff to it. Uh, pretty much main wires, batteries. I don't yeah, think we've looked hard enough though. We did the ground cable, that uh, fusible link on it as well. Yeah. From the block to the starter. Uh, we'll clean up the terminals over here, go into the firewall, mm -hmm. which is a common spot on the Volvos mm -hmm. to fail. I think we swapped the main uh, positive and negative yeah. batteries. From the batteries to the starter. And uh, it's worth mentioning, it's converted. Yeah, it's a... Uh, <laughs> And we just found that out when yeah because the harness is so butchered and you can see that it was converted from automatic to um, manual and you can also figure that out if you look under the seeper yeah it's the hole is cut it's out cut out and also the way the shifter sits too it's a little a little bit odd it is that's what i was thinking i was like why is this so odd uh so let's let me hop in real quick we can see i'll show what uh what actually is happening uh what we had what the driver was driving everything was fine and all of a sudden he would go over a bump and it was just turned off for a few minutes and the entire gauge including uh the main cluster and the radio would just turn off so you want to give it a shot uh, give it a try yeah there you go yeah that's it yeah it turned off the radio the radio and the cluster did you did you pinpoint it do you know where it's at i hope so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it over now see what i find this is our d12 that we have um from a truck that had 700,000 miles we're gonna put it in the in a different one that just had a crack in the block. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> I was going for over here. Yeah. See, it, huh? Fell apart though. Dude, yeah. When you were playing with it. Literally right now. Yeah. It was it was like probably holding on on a thread. What is yeah. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. And honestly Tom already fixed this one. That's he did, that's why No, but Tom fixed it right here. He did? Yeah. yeah. It looks like yeah, he did. That's where he, so, he fixed it. Because if I'm not mistaken, he cut this off and grabbed it from one of the, our scrap trucks in the yard over there. And he grabbed it from here, going to the starter. Yeah. So we're just going to have to run a new wire and that's it. Perfect. So we, if you have blinking dash, could be a couple of things. It'll be the dash itself, but um i think we had one more truck that was doing that and i think it's going to be in the same spot yeah um, just time harness wires are old and uh, corroded so uh, check Look your wires this, there's no corrosion on this you see that yeah it's just like what what do you, why do you think this happened just gave up internally the the, the, the cable the wire, the wire yeah it's all about diagnostics <laughs> you know creativity yeah. Alright, thank you guys. Subscribe, share and we'll talk to you soon.